Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 34 of The Great Adventure here in Crusader Kings 3 where last time we had our first succession in a while with the death of the 94 year old Emperor Tyke the First where we now play as the 67 year old Emperor Tyke the Second so we've kind of gone from old to old here and uh, we do have a few factions present two main ones right now an independence faction and a liberty faction we're working on getting that liberty faction taken out but at the same time maybe we would just fight it if it uh, came to blows but we'll see we're gonna hold off on uh doing stuff for the time being just uh oh oh wow the king of landenstrand died and then a few days a few weeks after very very shortly after his wife died in childbirth and I got 40 threats for all that. Very sad. Oh, a tyranny war. Well, that's great. That would just unify the kingdoms even faster. Why is your primary heir your father? Okay. I hate that everyone puts Scandinavian elective on their title. Can I just say? I hate that. It makes for such weird inheritance stuff. Very annoying. Yeah, we're also buffing up our army. Okay, more people join the Liberty Faction. Good to see you just all hate me. Thank you. I feel so loved by my people. Right, we can have Crown Authority 3. It's fine. It's really not advisable to get in a tough fight over one Crown Authority rank, especially considering I'm probably going to die soon. And... Um, then I can just raise it right back up right after I die. What the hell happened here? Oh, right. Did someone else just join? Oh no, they're just gonna send their ultimatum now. That's fine. Once again, I can lower crown authority. I think it's kind of annoying that a guy... That's a short reign. <laughs> 21 months. I've never... Well, I would, I've probably seen it a few times. But no reigns thus far listed in months. Okay. Well, on the bright side, we have a nice long reign coming up as Freya. And Freya's pretty good. She's a shield maiden and everything. Now, Tyke the second, the, uh, the short-lived here. Not even many memories for him. Um... All right, well, there's not much to talk about there. He didn't get much done. And now these factions are, uh... Well, there goes my strategy of just going down to Crown Authority 3 and then... Now, this does present an opportunity, assuming it can be timed correctly, which is we now have two unmarried sons with whom we can grab alliances with the most powerful of our vassals. Right here. I mean, she's a Lisper, but, like, I can't afford to be picky. Um... Yeah, we can... She's still near Landish, and that's the important part. So if we were to do this, that would get us an alliance there, and that would take 5,000 off of their numbers. We probably can't ally this woman or this guy. Or this guy. We can get an alliance here. Quick. I won't complain. Okay, so that could be two alliances. I don't know if that'll be enough to knock them out or not. We'll have to see. We can, of course, also reassign everyone to their proper council positions. Um, wait, who the hell are you? Okay, well, let's let's examine our the, the kings here. So you would be a good chancellor. Oh, okay, I was looking at this guy. Oops. Oh, he's already considering a proposal. Okay, so we're going to need to leave some spots empty. Um, you can be a competent steward. This guy can be spy master. 
we have this guy as Marshal, and then yeah, this guy's Chancellor. You're going to assist me with diplomacy, so hopefully people will like me a bit more. I'm going to pick the Chivalry Focus to get Attraction Opinion. Also, what is this crown? This is not our crown. Are we getting into one of the situations where the crown doesn't, like, the proper crown doesn't exist for women? I've run into that situation before. Um, you literally can't well wear the uh, Reichskrona as a woman. It, it literally won't let you. Okay, that's disgusting. Why would I wear that? Put all those gemstones. It's nasty. I'm just gonna go for the North Circle. There's too many gemstones. We're not that flashy. Come on. Okay, so now we have to hope that those marriage proposals go through quickly enough that they don't enforce demands before uh, before they get there. Let's see, this can be a vassal, right? Royal Architect? Yeah, I'm just going to make a vassal have this position just to get a bit more opinion. Um, is there anyone I can negotiate alliances with? I don't think there would be. Yeah. Got a real dearth of uh, children as of late. Let's see, what do we have? The raid speed is really nice, but if there's anything I could replace it with that would give me opinion. I need as many opinion modifiers as I can right now. And we've still got the short reign duration regalia. As for court artifacts, we now can replace these books. Um, we could go for the max sway schemes. Direct vassal opinion. That's going to be a good one to take. Um, okay, let's grab that. And then let's grab the martial experience, since we are martial focus. Okay, and then we'll let these marriage proposals come through once again. We gotta hope they don't enforce demands before then. That's the that's the hope here. Long live the Empress. We're gonna be playing as Freya for a while, hopefully. Damn. All right. Yeah, and then they ally me right after. Bloody knaves. Let's put him back on domestic affairs. We should be pretty stabilized now. Um, oh, a cat! Yes, please. In fact, uh, I think I'm just going to straight up break these betrothals now. <laughs> 30 opinion? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. <laughs> You, uh, you screwed me, so I'm breaking patrols. I won't break that one quite yet, because I don't want to lose. Actually, that patrol is fine. That one's fine. I'm going to keep that one. Let's name the cat. Let's name the cat. Let's name it Tyke, after all the tykes that are... Actually, no, 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 no. A cat is a nice little deceptive little creature so it should be steer car although i can't do the little thing on the a but little deceptive little cat named after the deceptive people in our dynasty that's fitting i think okay so we should be fine I mean, there's a couple of factions that are that are bouncing around but we can handle those um i'll start swaying you although you're gonna die soon um and you, you'll get over it eventually. Okay. Let's host a grand right. We will do the charisma and improvise. And we can get a diplomacy perk. That's actually really nice. Um, I think I'll go with Befriend, because if we can just Befriend... I mean, Groom to Rule is great, but with how tenuous our rule can be right now, I think Befriend is going to be better. Um, mm, I can't say no to Groom to Rule. I like it too much. 
Oh, and then I get one point in learning. That's not great. But uh, I guess I'll make him a learning focus. Actually, no, we just had a learning focus. Let's make him a stewardship focus. Yeah, it's definitely going to have to be a bit of uh, waiting around. We should probably get some more buildings going. As you can see, income is looking a bit low. Um, so we need to keep an eye out on that. Uh, we could go for some long-term investments here. I was going to say marry off some nieces to some heirs, maybe? This one. Oh, we have nieces. So uh, this could like guarantee an alliance with the next generation that rules over the Maldives, potentially. Um, that could be good. We'll see. Uh, am I using that? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry. It's like my symmetrical thing. I can't give you that. It would ruin my symmetricality. Sorry. <laughs> Let's move you back there. Um, as for Steward, I guess this guy can do it. Wait, no, no, not you. Hold on. <laughs> this guy. Ten Stewardship is fine. We can work with it. I'm not attending any feast right now. I don't trust any of you people. Two straight successions in a row like that? I am extremely paranoid now. Um, it's a trinket with learning, and then a book for diplomacy. I will repair that, and I'll repair my terracotta toy file, and I'll repair my prayers for the acid tree. The other ones can, uh, they don't matter. We should get raiding soon, it's just we're still kind of tenu- Ah, uh, no, we're probably fine. This guy should get out soon. I don't suspect he'll stay in this faction so much longer. Um, yeah, I got experienced writer. And I can get Warhorse. I will take Warhorse. Freya of the Mini Pets. Uh, let's name it after Odin's Horse. Slipnir. Slepnir. I will increase your feudal taxes to me. The tavern in Nagadipa is a perfect place to forget about the troubles. Sitting just one over table, table from Hogni and I is my rival, Flossi. Okay, well, Hogni is not going to beat him. Um, he has way too high prowess for me to duel that man. <laughs> um... I'll just make you loyal. I'm, my prowess is higher, but those duels can go very wrong, so I'm not risking it. But we are gonna, I think, go on a little raiding trip now. Which I will, of course, be leading myself. Love to get the uh, Viking trait as often as we can. And get rid of the Minganols. And then let's get raiding. Wait, these guys are... Yeah, they're still pretty weak. Okay. Oh, wait, I need to... So my raid... Yeah, all my raid speed stuff is active, yeah. Okay. I was thinking about the other raid speed bonus I used to have, which was my former character, the guy who just died, Tyke the Second, who had another raid speed commander bonus. Um, but yeah, he's dead, so I can't get that anymore. Hey, no. It's mine. Go away. Hey, stop this. Okay. This is the bad thing about having Viking vassals. I will take Bounteous Plunder. Can I fight them? Ah, very sad. Uh, my champion wants to go to the Varangian Guard? Sure. He's gonna be a Holy Order member of Viking and a Varangian. Got a lot of stuff going on there. Lose some stress because someone's angry. Oh, and Tyke got diplomacy plus one, so they. 
I took that trade and they each got a bonus of one. Like I said, we had a learning focus recently, so he's going to be a diplomacy focus. With his beauty trait, that meshes well. I got another capture, although I don't think... Yeah, they don't ransom her, so I'll just execute. Okay. Wait, I, I gain stress for publicly executing, but if I just sacrifice them, I'm fine. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that's one under construction, right? Uh, well, she is Marshall, so none of those. A bit of debt, but that'll obviously be solved as soon as we return with the loot. Let's go around here. Faction disbanded. Oh, it's just a peasant faction. There's really no point in swaying the woman I'm currently swaying, because she's going to die soon. So I should be swaying this guy instead. Because uh, he is close to Max Opinion, and when he gets there, I would guess he would leave the faction. I don't know. Sometimes people will absolutely love you to death and still just be sitting in a faction against you. So, it doesn't really actually mean anything. Maybe. He's also got some pretty bad traits. Um, but I will take Raid Speed. I should grab Stalwart Leader, but I'm raiding right now, so I really want the Raid Speed bonus. Stalwart Leader will be what I'll grab uh, next, I think. So I can safely lead my own armies. We don't want to get too heavy with the raiding, because obviously if my army size decreases too much, then I'd be at risk of, you know, making some of the factions take over to be powerful, technically. Um... I think this is one that's under construction, right? It's fine. Oh, it's not under construction. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Um, I don't want to rate these guys too much more because they have a bit over 10k. But if I can get to their capital, maybe that could be a good end point for this raiding trip. And that guy. Okay, dissolution faction gone. Now it's just this guy and his independence faction. And his numbers are starting to dwindle a little bit. Hey, two gold from my cat. Very cool. I got a cat, I got a horse. I just need a dog now. A dog, and you can also get a falcon. Those are the two pets I still need. Alright, and we'll grab this one. Okay, a lot of my friends are getting angry, which is making me very not stressed. Oh, I captured the king himself. And I grabbed the viking trade. Nice, but also the king of the Silla, Silahara kingdom died. Fortunately, he's been replaced by a pretty good diplomat, which means we can move this guy over to Marshall and make the new king of the Silahara kingdom our new chancellor. Can we ally you or anything? No? Okay. Well, he's got a daughter. But I'll pass on that. Probably big age difference between him and my, uh, my son. Or her and my son. Okay. I think we can go now. Also, I want to send my kids to the Varangian Guard if they're proficient enough. Hey! Independence faction's gone as well. Alright. Offering me for him. I get 300 gold to ransom the man himself. And then we can take 75 for his son. Oh, right, I wasn't teaching these kids. Oops. 
Well, hopefully that doesn't ruin because two deaths in a row. Hopefully that doesn't ruin their education. What's going on here? Bit of internal war. That's fine. All right, pretty good bunch of loot there. Now we also need to keep building buildings. Um, it's pretty important. I'm having another kid. That's not so great. Let's upgrade the trade ports here in our capital. Get this holding all the way up to level two on everything. Let's upgrade the castle here. And let's go farms and fields. Yeah, we need to do a lot of that. A lot of uh, upgrading our buildings because the economy was getting kind of tight there. Fortunately, we can just keep going on raiding trips and that can be how we fund all of these upgrades. It's a great thing about being uh, feudal and having raiding at the same time. I guess it would be good to become friends with a uh, vassal like that. So I'll take it. Although he's probably going to end up dying and giving me a bunch of stress. That's how it usually goes. Oh. Well, oh, child died. That's fine. I was about to say I'm going to be leading an army while pregnant. Is that medically advisable? I guess it was not medically advisable. I guess that ended very poorly for the child. God damn it, everyone keeps... I'm not putting Hogni in jail. Everyone keeps raiding my stuff. Stop, stop raiding everything. It's my, yeah, there you go, get killed. That's what you get for taking my raid stuff. That guy can't be ransomed. Uh, these will start going away in 17, uh, 1070, so we should be able to get that stuff raided soon. Okay. Love a little raiding trip. Is plunder as well. Very cool. I would also like to get in fights because now I make money from fights. So if anyone does try to fight me, that could be an opportunity as well. To make some money. Well, just everyone around me is having outbursts of anger. No, you can deal with it. You can deal with the cat sensitivity. I'm not getting rid of my cat because my husband is allergic. No. Absolutely not. Okay, let's grab Stalwart Leader now. It's up to 37 prowess. Pretty good. The Gilded Rat's, Gilded Rat's Tail was finally destroyed. Love to see it. Did not want that thing. I don't even know what that really means. What is a Gilded Rat's Tail? Like, what is that? <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. Alright, now we'll swing up around here. Just raiding everything along the river. Oh god, okay. <sighs> now you're expanding. Cool. I love it when my vassals expand. Did you pick up some vassal who's gonna hate you, who's not your religion at all or anything? Yep, you sure did. You picked up a bunch of vassals who were gonna abhor your very existence. I love that. Thank you. Who else expanded? Okay. I relinquished Crown Authority 3 for like a second. And then it's just instantly everyone just starts ruining my borders. Thanks for that. Is why this is why I hate having anything lower than Crown Authority 4, because they will ruin your borders. It's disgusting. I guess I should just embrace the fact that this is, you know, medieval times and borders are meant to be completely ugly and disgusting. Um, maybe maybe that's what I need to embrace at this point. Just need to stare at a map of the Holy Roman Empire for 
two weeks straight. Because they're drilling into my head that borders didn't matter back then. Good captures, finally. I'm getting a lot of those. Ooh, okay, he wasn't able to pay full price. That's fine. Here, it's a uh, fifth of May, 1071. Well, that's not good. Um. Try some drastic measures. Okay, you cut off his leg. And you wounded him. And you botched his disease treatment. He's still feeling fine though. Oh no, now he's not feeling fine. Okay, um. Well. You know, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if he died. It's kind of callous of me to say, but. How many men do you have? Okay, not me. We can we can do all this pretty safely here. Hey, birthday party. Let's do the smallest one. Nearlandish brooch. Hey, and we have a rat free boost as well. Uh I mean, we already have a pretty good brooch. I don't know what I would replace. Yeah, I don't think I'd replace anything. I mean, it could be useful in a pinch, because I'll give opinion with every every person who's attracted to women that would give an opinion boost. So it could be useful uh, in certain circumstances. So it's 26th of March. I need to get over here and read all of this. So I'll wait until this is free to raid, and then I'll raid it. And then we can uh, head back, finish the raiding trip, finish the episode. Very competent. Eh. Very competent's not close enough that I could boost it easily, so I'll say no to that. But we'll just sit here until the 26th of March. So I gotta walk out and walk back in. Well, there goes Verminder. Verminder. So he became a leper, and then my husband botched the disease treatment, and he died. So I guess it's another Tyken line for the throne. Okay, I think I'll just take the capital, and then I yeah, will go. I can't afford all of it. That's tragic. When can I change the crown authority again? But I really just need prestige. <clears throat> oh, right! Because I can ignore the cooldown if I just pay enough prestige. Forgot that was a thing. Well, one or two more raiding trips and we can uh, just go right back up to crown authority 4. So that's pretty good. Let's upgrade the manor houses here. Um, I want to focus on the holdings that are like in our, you know administrative capital now, so I'm going to do that. Um, here we'll upgrade the walls and castles. Alright, and I think that's a good place to end this episode. So, another succession in quick succession uh, right after the last one. And we're now playing as uh, Freya here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. She should be able to rule for a while. Um, hopefully it'll be a successful one. We also had a sun die. A lot of death in this episode. Um, but thank you much for watching everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.